Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria Montefusco and I'm a lover of all things when it comes to fragrance and makeup. And yes, I have not posted on my channel in a while. I believe this is the longest break I've ever taken from YouTube since I've been doing this for a year and a half. And yeah, uh, sorry about that. Life just got kind of busy on the weekends when I normally film. I wasn't really feeling the motivation. And the way that I like to approach YouTube is to film when I want to and feel like it and not to force myself to. So that's why I took a little bit of a break. Um, there's been a few updates. I got my first ever tattoo on my arm. You can't see it today because I'm wearing like this little kimono thing. But anyways, yeah, I got a tattoo. Um, I've just been enjoying the month of June, celebrating my birthday, just been spending time with family, friends, all that stuff. So yeah, it's been good. But anyways, enough with the chitter chat. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you all all the products that I'm planning on decluttering out of my collection. So this includes basically every type of makeup you can think of. So eyeshadow, blush, um, eyeliners, lip products. We got a bunch of different stuff here. And some of these I'm getting rid of because they're expired. Some of these I'm getting rid of because I don't use them. Um, and yeah, basically these products, the ones that are expired, I'm gonna throw out. The ones that are not, I'm gonna probably just give to family, friends, that kind of thing. I don't like selling used makeup to people I don't know, um, just because, you know, just in case there's, I don't know, it just, it's not my kind of thing. So I just ended up giving it to people that I know in my personal life. So yeah, if you want to see what I'm decluttering in no particular order, please keep on watching. So I'm just gonna grab the thing that's closest to me. So I'm first gonna start off with this Wet n Wild color icon palette. Uh, I believe my parents got me this for Christmas in my stocking. This is okay, the quality's meh. Um, it's good for the price, so if you're falling on a budget, I think this is great. But personally, I have colors like this in my collection so many times over. I have eyeshadows that I like much, much better formula-wise in these kinds of colors. So yeah, it's nothing unique in my collection. I've only ever reached for it like once or twice since I've had it for six months. That tells me this needs to go to a better home. So next I wanna talk about these. So these are um, uh, water activated liner sets from Glam Vice Cosmetics. I believe they changed their name and now they're called Gavisi Beauty. But anyways, these are just water activated liners. I believe I have like seven or eight of them and all these like really pretty pastel shades. When I first got these, I used them a ton. Now I never reach for them. I'm sure they're expired. I mean, yeah, like I've had these I think for over two years. It's probably time for these to go in the trash. I never use them. I just have realized I like black eyeliner, I like brown eyeliner, and that's about it. So for that reason, I'm gonna get rid of these, but they are really good quality. I do enjoy them. So if you are interested in water activated liners, I do recommend Gavisi Beauty. Related to that, I'm decluttering all of these. So these are from Suva Beauty, which is another indie brand, um, and these are their water activated liners. So I have a whole bunch of different colors, like neons and dark colors and a white. And again, I've just had these for a really long time. I don't really ever reach for them anymore. I just like my black and brown liner <laughs> pen from NYX. So for that reason, I'm also gonna throw these out because I'm sure they are very, very, very expired. Next up, I'm gonna talk about two eyeshadow primers I just don't get along with. And that is the Glam Line Icing uh, Primer and the Kaleidos Tone Activator Primer. Both of these primers provide some coverage. This one, just a little bit. This one provides very full coverage. Um, I like how my shadows apply on top of them. I feel like they're very pigmented, but for some reason, whenever I use these two, doesn't matter how much I use, doesn't matter how little I use, doesn't matter how much I blend it out, doesn't matter if I set it, doesn't matter what I do, my eyeshadow always creases with these two primers, especially this one. This one I've tried so many times, it doesn't really work out for me. This one's a bit better, but it's still crease city. So the Milani eyeshadow primer is the only one that I've ever found that does not make my eyes Crease City. So I'm just gonna give these to family or friends that I think will like them better. Sadly, these do not work for me. It makes me really, really sad. So now I wanna talk about some a blush and a highlighter I didn't really get along with the best. So these are both from M Cosmetics. So I have their Heaven's Glow Blush and Faded Clementine, as well as their Sunscape Highlighter and Clarity. So I'll start off with the highlighter because it's a very obvious reason why I don't use this. And that's just simply because it's a little bit too dark for me. This is their lightest shade and it's just a little bit too dark for me. So I'm gonna give this to one of my friends um, that has a bit of a darker skin tone than I do. She gets all of my stuff, it's a little bit too dark for me. So Meredith, you're gonna be getting that. 
And then I believe I'm also gonna give her this blush, which is Faded Clementine. It's a pretty formula, it's baked, I like it. It's just, it's very pigmented, a little goes a long way. And again, there are other like orange blushes in my collection, like especially the new one from Odin's Eye. Oh, that like shimmery one, I love it. Um, but yeah, this one, I don't really get along with that much. So I'm gonna give this to my friend. Like this isn't bad, it's just not my thing. And the highlighter formula, again, it isn't bad, it's just too dark and it's not my preferred highlighter formula. Another blush. This is from Shanta Kai. This is her aqua blush in Marigold. I bought this on sale. It's just like a cream blush that you can like put on your cheeks. Again, it's pretty, it's fine, it's nothing special. This was way too expensive for what it is. This is my first ever time trying Shanta Kai. I wasn't that impressed. Don't think I'd buy from them again. I know they're super hyped on YouTube. But yeah, it's, this is just fine. I just don't ever reach for it. There's so many other blush formulas, powder and cream that I prefer over this. Another product, but this one's expired. This is from Kaja. This is one of their bento box eyeshadow stacks. Uh, this is in the shade 02 Orange Blossom. I've had this for a really long time. And these are just like little shadows, trios. And so all of these are metallic. If you are someone who likes very simple makeup, just like grab and go, that kind of thing, or if you're the kind of person that travels a lot, I feel like these would be great. These are compact, you can throw them in your purse, they're really easy, you can just use your fingers and get a cute look. But if you're like me and you like to just be really extra with your makeup, I don't think this is for you. Um, I believe I purchased this in like a kit with other Kaja products and I think the vibe of the brand is cute but I haven't ever fallen in love with any of their products enough to be like, oh my goodness, this is gonna become a staple in my collection. Like, I just don't think K-beauty or K-inspired beauty is my vibe. I think I'm a lot more just like full coverage, dramatic, you know, that kind of thing. So this is good, it's just not for me, it's not made for me. Um, and also I've had this for a long time, it's expired, it's gotta go. Another thing I don't use, this. This is the Rio Sunset Glow Oil from Sol de Janeiro. I mean, it smells like the Bum Bum Cream, so it smells amazing. It's supposed to provide like a glowy uh, finish to like your arms, your legs, your decolletage, that kind of stuff. I just don't use products like this. Like I'll, I'll focus all darn day on my face makeup. When it comes to hair and when it comes to like body, pff, I don't really care. <laughs> so I just always forget that I have this and I forget to use it and I never use it. And then it just keeps sitting there. So I, again, I don't know if I'm gonna give this to someone. I'm not sure if someone wants this or if I'm just gonna end up throwing it out. Um, I got this on sale, so thank goodness I did not spend full price on this. It's really beautiful when you put it on. Like I'll even put a little bit on my hand to show you. That's actually kind of a lot. But anyways, like look at how pretty that is. Like that would provide a lot of glow to your body. Like this hand looks so glowy and moisturized. And it also smells really, really good. But it's just, I don't know. I just don't use products like this. It's not super sticky, but it's a little bit slippery. Eh, I'd just rather my body be, you know, not have this on it. <laughs> All right, just pulling out random stuff. This was on the chopping block last time. This is the Nabla Glitter, uh, Press Glitter Quad in Ruby Lights. Again, this is really pretty, and I really like it when I wear this. I always get lots of compliments, but Press glitters are a pain in the butt to remove. It's not worth it. The glitter gets everywhere. It's chunky. It just kind of like scratches my eyelid sometimes. It's just not worth it. This is not worth the trouble. So that's why I never reach for it and that's why I'm getting rid of it. You might be shocked when you see that I'm decluttering this palette, but this is the Nude Rich palette from Huda Beauty. I have realized that when it comes to Huda shadows, her big palettes are much, much better than her small ones, just like quality and formula wise. So that's why I'm getting rid of this. This one I dropped and so some of the shades are a little bit shattered and I had to repress them in. Um, and this is a beautiful formula. Again, like it's not bad. It's just I have fallen in love with the formula in Huda's large palettes, especially those shimmers. They do not even hold, like these do not even compare to those at all. Those are so much better than these. So now that I know what she can do in those big palettes, I'm just not interested in these little ones. I haven't reached for them since I've tried the, the big palette formula. So for that reason, I'm getting rid of this one as well as its sister. And here's its sister. So this is the nude medium. <laughs> so I'm getting rid of this one too for the same reason. Again, pretty color story. I didn't used to reach for it a lot. It's just Huda's big palette formula is just so much better. 
This is from a brand that no longer exists. So this is the Midas Cosmetics Lemonade Palette. Sadly, Midas went out of business. Um, I believe at the beginning of 2022, they shut their doors. But I got this palette um, probably two or three years ago because I was like, I need yellows in my life. And this was one of the first ever indie palettes I bought. It was like this and the original formulation of the Oceanic palette from Ace Beauté. But like the first ever time I bought makeup that wasn't like sold at Sephora or Ulta. I know, like big deal. But yeah, like this is pretty. Um, I don't really like the metallics. They're just kind of meh and normal. They don't really do anything special for me. And then the mattes are nice, but I have yellows and other palettes that I reach for. I don't ever really reach for this anymore. I'll just go into another palette with a yellow instead of an all yellow palette. So for that reason, this one is leaving my collection. So I'm doing a give me glow purge. I just, I realize I don't really get along with their eyeshadow formulas that well. So this is the Juicy Olive palette. I used to love Give Me Glow and then, and then I discovered other indie brands and I'm like, never mind. <laughs> this this formula is a lot better. So this is the Juicy Olive. This is my first ever Give Me Glow purchase. I do love the colors on this. For some reason, these metallics have always bothered my eyes. I always get this like burning feeling when I put these on. It eventually goes away, but I think I might be allergic to something in these two specific shades. It doesn't happen with any other Give Me Glow shadows I own, but for these two, they burn my eyes. Um, but anyways, I do think it's a nice palette. It's a pretty color story. Give Me Glow's metallics just aren't my favorite anymore. They're not shiny, textured, shifty, like sparkly enough. They're just a little bit more subdued, I guess, for like an indie formula. And then the mattes are nice, but they're nothing to like write home about. Like they're, they're pretty, but I'm not like, oh my God, these are the easiest things to blend ever. And now I have colors like this in other palettes. Like for example, the Ace Beauté Flare palette, which I absolutely love. Um, that has a lot of like grungy olivey greens and it's a formula I enjoy more. So for that reason, this one is going out of my collection. All right, another palette that is going through the Gimme Glow Purge is the Vivid Rose palette. I did like this palette. I did use it quite a few times, even though it probably looks pretty new. <laughs> I think my mom is gonna love this palette. She loves pinks and purples. Um, and again, like some of these shades, like Petal to the Metal, I think is actually a really, really pretty metallic from Give Me Glow. But the other two metallics are a little bit subdued and just not my thing. I think He Loves Me and Talk, uh, Talk Dirt to Me are a little bit too similar. Um, I wish there were more metallics. There's only three in the whole palette. I'm like, why? I don't think you need flower power and he loves me not. I think you could choose one dark purple. So there's just a few things about this palette I don't really like the best. And again, I'm just not the biggest fan of Give Me Glow's formula anymore. So I don't really reach for this. So that's the reason why I'm gonna get rid of it. Another Give Me Glow purge. <laughs> this is the Christmas morning palette. This one I've only ever used on Christmas. So I'm like, uh, because it's themed for Christmas, I needed like, I was trying to use it more like when it wasn't Christmas. But for some reason, this color story to me just screams Christmas. It's the red, it's the green, it's the silver. It just, just screams Christmas. Um, this metallic brown, bronze, is really pretty. Uh, this metallic silver is also really, really pretty. Um, I do really enjoy those two metallics. The other one's eh, a little bit, you know, lackluster for me. But again, I just don't ever reach for this and I'm not the biggest fan of this formula anymore. So it just needs to go to a better home, someone who's gonna appreciate it more, someone who doesn't look at this packaging and thinks, oh, I can only use this one out of 365 days a year, because that's just a bit ridiculous. All right, last of the Gimme Glow Purge is the Bad Witch Club Season Fall Palette. I did do a video on this palette if you wanna see it. I completely destroyed one of the shades. Um, it is gone. <laughs> so I dropped this thing and it just shattered. Another one's and others of the shades are shattered because it's just so shattered. I'm just afraid to reach for it, A. And then again, B, this is the palette where I was like, you know what? I do not like this metallic formula. I just don't. It's just too, it's just not intense enough. And again, there's only three metallics in here. I love the color story. I bought it for the color story. I wish I didn't buy it because yeah, I just, I only reached for this like two or three times and then I never really reached for it again. And I don't know who I'm gonna give this to because nobody in my life really wears these colors. Um, if a brand that I like more, like their formula more, made this exact color story, I would buy it. But um, I don't reach for it because I don't really like the formula and it's hella broken. All right, you might be shocked. I'm decluttering two Pat McGrath palettes. I know, they're not like, 
the motherships, like the, the classic motherships that like holds your horses. I'm not decluttering those, but I'm decluttering both of the mothership megas. So this one came out holiday season 2020. This one came out holiday season 2021. I don't reach for these because they don't have Blitz Astral Shades. That is bottom line. Beautiful. Like these, these colors are really pretty, but there's not enough mattes in here for this to make sense to me. There's too many shimmer. I know, shocking. Um, where I feel like I have to pull in other palettes and I'll pull in other palettes for shimmers any day of the week. I do not like pulling in other palettes for mattes most of the time, especially when it's just like neutral stuff. I'm like, come on, this is just too many metallics, not enough mattes. That's my problem with this one. And there's no Blitz Astral Shades. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then this one, again, there's not a lot of mattes, but there's a, there's one more matte than the other one. And I feel like these mattes are a little bit more versatile, especially for the color story in here. And I do love some of these shades. Like this green shade is really, really pretty, but it's very flaky, gives you lots of fallout. The blue shade, also really pretty. That bronze shade on the top, really pretty. But again, because there's no Blitz Astral Shades, to me, this isn't really a Pat McGrath palette. Pat McGrath palettes, to me, always have those beautiful Blitz Astral Shades, uh, those special formulas. And that's why I reach for them over and over and over and over again. But because these don't have that, I don't really have any reason to reach for these versus other ones in my, in my collection. You know, so I just don't reach for them. And the color stories don't just, just don't make the most amount of sense. I just feel like in both of them, there's just too many metallics, not enough mattes. Yeah, I'm getting rid of them. I don't really reach for them. Next up, gonna declare this. So this is from Ace Beauté. I do love Ace Beauté's new formula. Do not get me wrong. I just am not reaching for this one. So this is the Paradise Fallen palette. This is their purple palette. It's pretty. I like the purples. Um, Again, it's just hard to make purples. And these purple metallics just are not very shimmery at all. I would, I'm not sure if I'd even call them metallics. I think I'd call them satins. And I'm just not impressed with those. I'm not impressed with any of the metallics in here. The mattes are fine. They're not amazing. Um, I'm not really into like super cool tones. These first three shades, I don't really ever use. And then the browns don't really make a lot of sense to me in like a purple palette. And then, I don't know. There's not like a light purple to blend with. This to me is a bit of a weird purple palette that I'm just not using. And I think Ace Beauté is a lot better in their collection. Like the reformulated Oceanic palette, like the reformulated Flare palette, like the green palette they just came out with a couple of months ago. Oh, I love that one. This is not it. This is not it for me. All right, let's take a break from eyeshadows for a little bit and then we'll get back to eyeshadows. So I'm gonna be decluttering these. These are my Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs. These are all but one of the gloss bombs that I own. So I have Fenty Glow, I have the original Bossy, and then I, or Fussy, excuse me, not Bossy, Fussy, and then I have Hot Chocolate. These are fine. I've found better lip glosses since. These used to be my holy grail. They're not anymore. The smell is kind of weird. Um, not because they're expired. I just don't really like the smell of the Fenty glosses. I find that it kind of bothers me sometimes. And they're a little bit on the stickier side and thicker side and gloopy side. So just not a fan. And I've had these for a very long time. These are most definitely expired. So they've got to go in the trash. And this was kind of a unique declutter. It's actually want to repurchase this next product. So these are from Odin's Eye and these are their Alva cream lip stains. These smell rank. <laughs> these have got to go. <laughs> these are most definitely expired by the way that they smell. So I have three shades. I have Sweet Tulip, I have Lady Camellias, and I have Little Jasmine. So I've actually already repurchased one of these because it's already in stock. Um, so I'm actually wearing Lady Camellias on my lips today and I love it. I'm wearing the new one, not the expired one. And so I definitely want to repurchase these other two shades. I love this formula. I think it's really, really pretty. It was like one of the first things I tried from Odin's Eye and I think it's their only original product that they released that I still like. <laughs> because I got rid of their old eyeshadow palettes because I just didn't really like the formulas anymore. Um, but yeah, these are great, but I, they're just expired. And last of the non eyeshadow products, this. So this is from JD Glow Cosmetics. This is their Stay Put Mixing Medium. I just didn't find, I don't really ever use mixing mediums. I don't really find they do anything for me or work for me. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. Also, not a fan of JD Glow and like their politics and their political leanings and their opinions. <laughs> um, I believe the owner of the brand said something that was like very anti-choice and it was just in very poor taste. 
uh, I don't really want to support a brand that is making those kinds of posts. So yeah, for that reason, I'm getting rid of this. All right, this is the last stretch of the declutter. It's just eyeshadow palettes. Let's go. So this is a Sydney Grace uh, empty magnetic palette, but it's full of singles that I'm decluttering. I've never actually decluttered singles before, so this is new for me, but I'm decluttering all of these singles. So these bottom three rows are from Cleona and then they're duochromes. I think they're a nice formula. I just think someone in my life would appreciate them more. Um, and there's again, other duochrome formulas that are more flaky, textured, shiny, sparkly, shifty that I personally enjoy um, more. So I never really reach for those anymore. We also have uh, these four shades are from Glam Shop and that's their um, uh, holographic shadows. They're a little bit too textured for me, actually. Um, if that's possible, those are a bit too textured. So for that reason, I'm gonna get rid of them. Also, these next four shades, next to the Glam Shop ones, those are from Glaminatrix Cosmetics, and that's some of their metallics. Um, these are their metallics that are less textured, sparkly, shifty, shiny. These are more of just like a very classic metallic. Again, not the biggest fan. So they're gonna go. So I just don't really like that formula. These two big, big pans on the top, I believe those are from JD Glow. It's the JD Glow formula I'm not really a fan of, which is like a very smooth metallic. It's meh, it's fine, I don't love it. Not in all those mattes, I believe, are from Terra Moons, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're from Terra Moons. And they're pastel mattes, they're fine. I prefer Terra Moons metallics way, way more than their mattes. Um, and these are just not my favorite pastels. I love my Ice Cream Dream palette from Glamlight. Those are my favorite pastels. I just don't need these singles. So I thought I would give these to someone who will use them a lot more than I do. So I have a feeling maybe my mom might like this palette. I don't know, we'll see. Next on the declutter list, this. This is from Viseart. This is their Dark Edit palette. This is nice, I just never reach for it. I like how small and compact it is. And I do think it's really nice formula. I just, again, I never reach for it. It's a shame. Yeah, I don't really like the metallics that much. Again, they're just not special, shifty, sparkly enough. I just have high standards now for metallics. And the mattes are nice, but a lot of those browns in the first row look exactly the same to me. Um, so I don't really use them. And yeah, there's just other palettes I reach for when I want a dark, deep, grungy look. This is not really it. Now, these last palettes are all bougie, 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 so let's talk about it. I have a Chanel quad that I'm decluttering. This is their Chanel quad in the shade 364 Candor at Seduction. It's a really pretty color story. It's just like pinks and stuff, like pinks and reds and a little metallic, like bone color, neutral color. It's pretty. It's just not special enough to be, it's not worth the price, it's not special enough. This is for a classy, sophisticated woman who likes natural makeup, who likes simple makeup, who wants something that's easy on the go, you know? And that's just not me. I'm not simple, I, I'm i not sophisticated. Am I classy sometimes? <laughs> I don't think I'm this classy. So for that reason, I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. Um, I do think it's really, like, the mattes are beautiful. They're very pigmented, very easy to blend out. Like, the quality on this is superb. Um, it's just not my vibe. I'm not a Chanel, like, makeup lady, I don't think. I love their lip products. Like, their lip glosses are good. Um, love their lip products. But I don't think I'm a Chanel eyeshadow lady. I don't think I'm a Chanel foundation lady. I'm definitely not a Chanel skincare lady. I'm just not at that point in my life yet, <laughs> you know? And last, this is going to be a shock, these. I'm decluttering my Tom Fords. So these are nice. Again, I just don't reach for them because I have other formulas I like more. So this first one is Mer the Mercurial Quad from Tom Ford. I have these colors so many times over and formulas I like more. What more can I say? You know, it's pretty. I do like it whenever I wear it. I'm like, oh, that's a nice eye look. But like I used to use these Tom Ford quads a lot. Um, like when I had to go into an office, I don't really have to do that anymore. Uh, so yeah, they're just eh to me. This next one is really pretty. This one's Soleil et Lune. It's very good for summer, I feel like, because of that pop of blue. But again, I just don't use it. I, th this gives you a very natural wash of color, you know, classy lady, very simple, quick, easy. That's not me. I like to be complex and take my darn sweet time with my eyeshadow. You know, that's, that's the most fun part of makeup to me. And this one is Double Indemnity. 
This black, I think, is really cool. It has a lot of glitter in it, but the glitter goes all the way down and it provides a really unique finish. So I do really like that black. I think it's interesting. Um, the other shades are also really nice. Again, it's a nice formula. I just don't reach for them. And these are way too expensive for what they are. They retail for like 80 something dollars for a quad. Are you kidding me? I think I paid full price for one or both of them. Like, I think I paid full price for these two or maybe close to it. This one I got at the cosmetics company store. I got this one for half off. But these two, I bought at Sephora, which was dumb. Um, do not do that <laughs> unless you have a sale or a gift card. Um, but yeah, they're nice. I just don't reach for them. Again, I'm, I'm like in my 20s. I gotta enjoy makeup. I gotta have fun, use color, use texture, enjoy my life. When I'm a bit older and more boring, then I can go for that kind of stuff. But right now, I don't wanna be boring with my makeup. I just find that a little bit boring and a little bit uninspiring. So that is it for the products I am decluttering. I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, I hope that it just seemed like I was natural on camera since it has been a while since I filmed. It's a little bit weird to go back on camera and start talking to yourself um, and, and talking to your cell phone. Um, yeah, it's a little bit unique. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please like this video. It helps out with YouTube algorithm and it also helps me know what kinds of content that you like to see on my channel. If you like me, please subscribe. I'd love to have you all here. Um, I used to say I post like two or three times a week. Now I'm just gonna say I'm gonna post when I feel like it. <laughs> so if I'm posting, it means I'm excited about makeup and fragrance and stuff. If I'm not posting, it means I'm busy. I'm just not feeling filming and editing. You know, it's, I'm, I'm doing this as a hobby. I'm not doing this to make money at all. I'm not doing this to get free stuff. I'm not doing this for an ego boost. I'm just literally doing this because it's fun. So I will film and edit when I want to. And if you have anything to comment down below, please comment. I'd love to chat with you all. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.